Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to go over how to clean and lubricate this pistol right here. This is a SIG P365 pistol. I think it's something that a lot of new shooters are looking for, for a sort of all-around gun. And uh, we're going to walk you through how to clean and lubricate the pistol step by step as if this is your first gun that you've ever owned. So we're going to just glide you through the process here on video, hopefully a little bit better than your owner's manual can. Before getting into the actual pistol, we're going to go over what we're using here to uh, do this process. So both of these bottles here have break-free CLP in them. It's just repurposed down into smaller bottles. I buy it in the bigger bottles uh, simply because it's cheaper that way. And we use it to clean, lubricate, and protect the firearm as the name would indicate. Uh, I'm also going to be using this um, little Glock tool. This is the barrel guide rod tool that comes with Glock pistols. One just like it comes with your SIG. Um, I just have this one on hand. We also have these Tipton polymer gun picks. I like these because obviously they're polymer uh, and they're not going to scratch up your gun's finish like some hardened like dental tools that are made out of steel could do. And then we also have this super high tech uh, tactical tool toothbrush rather here. Um, obviously it's a repurposed just regular old toothbrush. So those are the products we're going to be using. Now we'll get into disassembly of the actual pistol itself. We're going to hit the magazine release and your magazine will drop out. You want to make sure you set that aside if you have ammo in there. Uh, somewhere where it's not going to get back into the pistol in any way, shape, or form. At this point, we're going to push up here on our slide lock, which is this little piece. And we're going to pull back on the slide. We're going to rotate this lever right here down 90 degrees. Like so. Uh, some of these pistols have a tendency to kind of want to push back on you. Um, if that's the case, just push forward on it with your thumb. Uh, as you bring the slide back and release, it should come right off without having to pull the trigger. That's something that a lot of people like about this pistol. Uh, some folks have reported they had to pull the trigger. If that's the case, I would contact SIG about that. Um, we're going to pull up here on our guide rod and spring and pull up here on our barrel and out the pistol is disassembled for cleaning. The first part we're going to tackle is going to be the barrel itself. Um, I'm going to take a piece of cut up t-shirt which I didn't address in the intro, probably should have. Uh, some folks like to use patches. I tend to get cut up t-shirts just if you do this just make sure that you cut them small enough so that way they don't get stuck in your bore. Um, but that is something you can do to save a little bit of money if you have extra t-shirts on hand or you can just buy the you know, nine millimeter ones and know you'll be good. Now we're going to push it through there after applying some CLP, that CLP is going to break down the carbon that's in the barrel right now. And uh, we're just going to grab that and at this point just run a little CLP on the outside of it and just work it around there with the toothbrush. Again, uh, the CLP breaks down carbon continuously. It never stops actually, so that's kind of a good thing. So even uh, when we're done with the process here today, it will still be breaking down carbon. So that's kind of cool. Anyway, we're going to rub it around there and make sure we get all that carbon broken loose and set it aside. Now we'll get into the slide and I like to sort of angle my slide down to try to prevent any sort of oil from getting into the firing pin channel or striker channel there. Also you want to be mindful not to jam it back here um, behind the firing pin. So I'm just going to spray there and spray up front. At this point, same thing we did with the barrel. We're just going to work around getting into all the major areas that we can with that toothbrush starting to break down the carbon deposits and make a special note to kind of attack the breech face here. And we're going to want to make sure we get uh, the actual extractor which is this little piece right here. If my camera will focus right there, you guys can see it. Um, you want to get that face uh, of that sort of uh, cleaned up on there because that is the part that's actually attaching to the round and pulling it out of the chamber. Also going to make special attention to these rails here. Make sure we work in there as you guys just saw. And now we're just going to set this off the side and let the CLP keep working its magic. Similar process here on the frame. We're sprayed back there on the rear, and we're just going to work it around. One thing that's nice about the P365 versus some small guns of similar size is that it has gigantic rails there, um, which is easy to clean, much more so than some of the smaller ones out there, and just kind of work around anywhere that you can see that carbon deposit, um, or if, of course, if the pistol is new, anywhere that you see any potential wear points on there. For the guide rod and spring, I like to just basically hit that with a spray of CLP, do the same thing, work everything around, kind of rotate it as we do. You guys can see that uh, carbon is coming off there for sure, so it's on there. So you just want to make sure you start to break it down. Now we're going to start cleaning up some of that CLP. I'm going to put a spray there on this piece of t-shirt. We're going to run it through the barrel um, after letting that CLP sit just throughout the regular uh, cleaning process. There's no special amount of time you have to wait or anything like that. Um, we're just going to push it through. Now this is one of those things that some folks will do until this uh, patch comes out 
spotless and 100% clean. If that's what you want to do, feel free to do so. Uh, for me personally, I run it through a couple times to make sure the bore area back here is all cleaned up and I'm good with it. Um, then we're just going to wipe down the outside. Again, kind of making sure we pay special attention there to the crown, make sure that it is not chipped or damaged in any way, and uh, just work in there under the barrel lugs because that, those, of course, are locking surfaces. As you, get, you guys can see, it's starting to wear there. And just make sure we get all that carbon out of there. For the slide, we're going to work through the same process. Again, we're going to use these uh, tipped and polymer picks to make sure we get up under those rails. And uh, generally, that's where there's a lot of fouling that tends to build up. You guys will probably see that here in a second. So there you go. You can see that now. We're also going to work up under that, that extractor, rather, that I pointed out earlier. If I can actually get my little piece of t-shirt on there, we'll work up under there, and you guys will see it's probably pretty dirty. It tends to be. So yeah, all that stuff just came off from under there. So those are special points of attention, in my opinion, on any type of uh, semi-automatic gun, which this certainly is. And we're going to work it out. And anywhere we can't get with our finger, which of course just kind of work the t-shirt in there and grab all that carbon that we can. As you guys can see, there's a good bit on this one. It's pretty fouled up. Um, so we're just going to keep working that around until we get it uh, coming out nice and clean. The process sort of repeats itself here on the frame. Again, we're going to pay special attention to the rail interface there. Those big gigantic uh, steel rails relative to the size of the pistol, of course. Uh, work in there as they are contact points. And you guys can kind of see we got some carbon coming up. We're also going to make sure we get this uh, piece right here. This is the locking block there where your barrel is going to engage. Make sure we get in there and get all that stuff up because there's definitely going to be some carbon in there. There always is because that's right where the uh, when the pistol unlocks, that's where the chamber is, and definitely carbon does tend to deposit itself there. And uh, back here towards our sear, basically uh, what I recommend is kind of get where you can, but don't go poking around trying to move things, if that makes sense. So uh, for a regular field maintenance like this, you know, you're not detail stripping the pistol. Just get it to where you, everything you can reach, and that's all you need to do. You don't need to press, pull, pry, anything like that. Just get anywhere you can get to, wipe it all up, and that will be good enough. And lastly, we're just going to make sure we wipe down the guy rod and spring with all that CLP that came off there, and get any kind of carbon that's still left on there, and move on to lubrication. The barrel here does have that SIG nitride type of finish on there. I think they call it Nitron. Uh, it's very good. Uh, it doesn't show a lot of wear. It's corrosion resistant. It's easy to clean, all of that good stuff. We're just going to put a slight coat of CLP around there. You guys can see the wear marks happening down here in that locking lug. I kind of put a CLP, drop a CLP down in there as well. And you guys can see the wear probably happening down there in the slide as well. Uh, again, just put a drop of oil in there. And we're going to put our barrel back in. Slide it down there. And then some folks put uh, a little bit of CLP here on the guide rod and spring. I would be one of those folks. So some folks say you don't have to. Uh, I guess we'll leave that up to debate in the comments section. We're going to set our guide rod down and click it into place, just like so. And we'll set that off to the side. Now when it comes to actually lubricating the rails here, there's two ways to do it. Basically, you can put the lubrication right on the rails itself, or you can put it inside the rails here on the slide. Either way, it's going to get to the same point. Um, I kind of like to do it on the slide simply because we also need to lubricate this portion right here that has the uh, sort of polished look to it. That is a wear point on the pistol. A little bit of a CLP along there is good for it. Put a drop down in there on the rails. And again, we're putting a drop in each of those. And as we slide that onto the frame here, it will actually uh, dispense itself. Now, one thing that's good that it actually happened here uh, on camera is sometimes this will want to go back, like I mentioned earlier in disassembly. If that happens, press up here on the slide lock, then rotate forward, and you will be able to get the uh, takedown lever rotated forward. If not, it won't go back. So uh, once we get it in a 90 degree position, we're gonna rotate, or rather insert the slide onto those rails, rock it to the rear, lock it, rotate 90 degrees. At this point, the pistol is clean and lubricated. We're gonna do a quick functions check by pointing in the safe direction. Run the slide while holding the trigger to the rear. Release, it should reset. And at this point, we're just gonna wipe down the outside of the pistol and we're good to go. One thing I didn't mention, and I probably should have, is that your magazine well, you want that to be relatively dry. So you don't want any CLP hanging around in there. Just make sure you wipe all that out. 
um, just simply because it doesn't do any good down in there. Now, if you guys have any questions about what we did here uh, today during this process, by all means, post down below in the comment section. For a lot of you guys that are new, hopefully you learned something and we sort of broke it down in a way that's a little bit easier than what you're going to find in the owner's manual. Uh, again, if you guys like what you saw here, please hit that subscribe button. You can follow me over on Facebook where I put deals for everything, all kinds of cool gun and gear related stuff up, and uh, you can check those out. I hope to see all of you guys in the next video.